What's going on guys, Dan Kale here, and I'm coming at you with another uh, Amazon liquidation pallet unboxing. If you guys have watched my previous series, you already have the gist of what's going on here, but basically I buy liquidation in bulk. I go through, check the items out, and sell them online, mainly on eBay. So this box here, we're getting ready to open. This particular box cost me $80. Now granted, I did spend you know, over $1,000, just over $1,000 for the entire pallet. But when it, the way the numbers broke down, it was 80 bucks. So let's see how much money we have in this box and what kind of items we can find. So I do have my screen up. Uh, I'll be able to look up items as we go. So here we go. Pretty full, more than three quarters of the way full. Good looking uh, inventory right off the bat. I see a pretty cool like horror. Uh, this is like one of those building kits, like a scale. You can pretty much put that together. I have no idea the value of this. This stuff, I was provided a, a master list with like over 900 items on it. I don't know off the top of my head how much everything's worth. It's just too much stuff to keep track. So pretty much I have to look up everything as I go. If it's an item I've had before, um, sometimes I'll remember. Now this one, my supplier said that it was $25 item, which on eBay, that's what it's going for. So about 25 bucks, something like this that's been open. We'll have to go through and check it all out. A lot of times everything's there, but some, you know, a good percentage of times something's broken or missing. So maybe you can even sell for like 15, 20 bucks for parts. These are ammo cases. I get these all the time. They are 15 bucks a piece. This is a, I've had this before as well. This is a electronic heater grip for like mountain biking. So if you're, or a pedal biking, I guess if you're Oxford heaters, if you're outside riding in the winter time. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry, it's for motorcycles. Um, I have sold one of these. I believe I got around 80 bucks for it. Uh, the retail in this is like 120, but open box on eBay, you're not gonna get full retail value. This is pretty cool. This is actually surprisingly intact. It looks like it's just a little bit damaged packaging, but if the customer's gonna take it out and sit it on the shelf, it probably does, that probably doesn't matter. Anyway, it's still mounted down. Um, we could scan this on eBay. So I do have a scanner as well, which is really helpful. If the barcode is open, actually that looks like that's a part. So maybe there is, a, okay, see there is some damage to this one. So this is what you have to deal with when you're buying liquidation. Not everything's perfect. That part right there is coming loose. Um, it's like the, the head uh, cover for the motor. And then there's a loose part right here. So yeah, this one's probably not gonna be worth listing. It might be worth it to somebody like the flea market. I'm gonna say maybe like five bucks. This is another motorcycle brand, this Senna brand. This is a, I know they sell different types of uh, audio equipment and uh, helmets for motorcycles because I've had one of their helmets before. The box on this is in excellent condition. It does have the Amazon return label on it, so I know someone returned it, but they're both in there, the receiver and the uh, player, and they still have the film on them to protect them. So it's a good chance this is still like new other open box. Uh, let's look this one up. So I'm gonna check my list. Basically I have the whole UPC, but I prefer just to look up. You can search on Excel. Now it says the retail on this is $2.99, so let's see what's going for on eBay. Um, yeah, baby, 254 bucks. That's awesome. So, uh, open box. I, I would probably say two, you know, 250 for an open box item. That's the average price. Let's see what's active. I could be overestimating. There's none active though on eBay as of right now, according to Terapeak. Sometimes in the automotive category, for whatever reason, I found Terapeak doesn't always show you what's active. So. I'm not quite sure what's going on there, but since this would be considered possibly automotive, you may have to actually search eBay, so I could do that as well. Just put the number in on eBay. Yeah, so, so now on eBay, there's plenty of options that come up. Um, 299, 299, 299. So yeah, 250 bucks would probably be a pretty competitive price for that. That's a really good item. Um, I've had these brake sets of brake pads before. Um, these sell okay, not super fast, but uh, as you can see, the theme of this box, there's a lot of automotive type stuff in this one. But uh, these are around 60 bucks a set, depending on the model. Um, this is just like a uh, little hanger for tools. You can see people mount these in their garage for the brooms and stuff. 
I normally um, a four pack of these. So like if I get four of these, I store them up until I get a bundle of four of these. I'll get for, um, like 20 bucks for so not much there. Just a couple bucks, two bucks or something. Um, this is a 38 caliber uh, ammo holder. So this is like some Wild Wild West stuff here. You put this on your belt, put your ammo in there. If you get in a gunfight, you got extra ammo. Um, these surprisingly sell pretty good. I uh, don't know the, what model this is. I'm gonna say 15 bucks. Some stuff I'll just estimate. Something like this is just a couple bucks. It's just a door handle for like a screen door. Two bucks. Um, this is um, like a padded shirt, a youth padded shirt. I'm not 100% sure on this one, but I at least can tell you what the retail value was. The thing with these boxes is I try not to make it take too long to go through them. Um, Cause not only do I like showing you guys and I enjoy YouTube and the, the community, but uh, I also have to then after this video is over, go through, like price all this stuff and get it ready for my helper to list it. So yeah, there's nothing nothing sold on it. They say the, the retail on this one was uh, $44, some sort of flag shirt, but I don't know, maybe 10 bucks. I've had these squeegees before. Uh, they actually sell pretty decent. This one, it does have the little protector in there. It's kind of a little bit bent up for being in the box, but uh, on average, I'm getting around 15 bucks for those after shipping and everything. Um, this is a gauge. These gauges are actually pretty expensive. Um, so let's just look it up. I don't know. The, off the top of my head what it went for. But yeah, this one gauge right now, I, one has sold for $106. And according to Terapeak, there's none active. Um, once again, I'm sure if you go to regular eBay, if this is considered an automotive, which it would be, it's like a car gauge. Actually, there's none active. So if I would be the only one on eBay with it, assuming it's still new, it looks like it's all there. Um, that's a hundred bucks right there. So really, this has been a really good box so far. Um, here's another ammo case. Now, what I've been thinking and what I might do is a lot of the stuff I store up for next winter's flea market, I'm starting to get, I have so much stuff. I may start doing like reseller boxes for people that are already in that kind of business. I know I have flea, flea market people that watch me. I just put a big flea market series out of me setting up a booth and how I get rid of liquid, the cheaper liquidation stuff. That's what I would consider this. This is a $15 item. You could put it up on eBay for you know eight bucks plus shipping and you probably would be able to sell it. But for me, it's just not worth that time when I have all these other 30, 40, 50, 60 dollar items or hundred dollar items to sell. So, you know, something like that or something like this uh, classic accessories grill cover. You know, that would be something I would normally put in the flea market. But I'm thinking about putting together um, liquidation boxes for people that are just getting started or they're looking to um, you know, expand their inventory for something like a flea market. I, uh, I have so much of it. And, um, you know, like here, for example, here's another one of those, um, motorcycle grips. This is like 80 bucks. I would much rather sell that on eBay and take and not focus so much on the cheaper stuff. So let me know in the comments down below if that's something you guys think that's a good idea or something I should do. I know there's a lot of, uh, concern about, you know, YouTubers ripping off other resellers. I, I wouldn't really say it's going to be a like a reseller box for eBay because this is kind of the stuff that I'm already saying it's probably not worth my time to put on eBay, but maybe it is worth your time. I don't know. This is a, a Simpson uh, advisor cover, a new replacement. Um, it looks actually like it's got the film on it. So uh, these go for like 30 bucks for that shade there. So yeah, anyhow, let me know down in the comments what you guys think about that idea. I have just so much stuff and I have about I've only gone through about a pallet and a half of the original five pallets, and I just bought five more pallets of inventory that's at the warehouse. So coming up in a couple videos, I'll show you that stuff. That's a little bit of bigger items though. This is a $28 item. It's like a car, a model car. I don't, you'd have to look at it and see if it's all there, but that's another perfect example. This probably isn't worth my time of going through, but it might be worth somebody else's to go through and see. And the way I would do it is I would just do either a set number, like you get X amount of items for a certain price, or I could also do like a certain percentage of retail. The problem with doing the percentage of retail is then we have to go through each box and scan it and figure out what's in it. And the time that takes just to give it to you for say 15% of retail, 
it's not really worth my time to do that either. So I'd rather just say, hey, the average price of these items, my cost on average is say $4, we'll just say, and I'm gonna give you 25 items. Well, that's a hundred bucks would be the cost of the box. And then you'd have 25 items and some of them you'd be able to sell for 20. Some of them you might only, you might only get your four or five bucks back. This is like this, this is a, a cap for a car. They're like a gas caps, like 10 bucks. Here's another one. So those are perfect examples of stuff that I normally just throw in the flea market. And then at the end of the flea market, whatever doesn't sell, I just liquidate that stuff. So a uh, really good brand here, Alpine Stars. This is a racing shirt or a racing vest. You know, motocross or motorcycle riders wear these. Let's just see if it comes up. Something like this a lot of times because of the UPC is unique to a color and size. You don't get any hits on eBay, which I didn't. I kind of expected that. But we can look on here and see what the, uh, what the retail was. Let's see if it's even on our list, 10520. Help if I put the right number in, 10520. Um, uh, they say it's 100 bucks for this Alpine Stars um, jacket. It still does have the tags, as you can see right there. There's the tags for it. So brand new. It actually is, looks like it's still in the factory bag. The Amazon bags normally have this uh, ready to ship, this green stripe on it that says ready to ship. This one doesn't, and it actually has, does not have the Amazon return label. This is the, my, the supplier's label over top of the UPC, not the LPN. Though. So that's that to me seems brand new. This is a cover you would put on the engine of your car. So this is for a Dodge, uh, what is it for? Maybe a Durango. And basically, you know, to, to spice up the under the hood, you would replace your, your cover with that. It's got the trim, the kit, all that stuff. These are pretty pricey. 63653. Three. I have had one before. 63653. Three. And we did sell it. Um, this is 148 bucks. Probably won't get that much. I probably list it, assuming everything's there, maybe 100 bucks for that. Uh, what do we have here? Some kind of little, this is a little uh, sensor. So we'll have to make sure it's in there. Some of these scent car part sensors can be very expensive. The only thing you gotta be concerned about. Sometimes somebody will replace a bad part uh, and literally just return the bad part uh, to Amazon. So <clears throat> you've really got to look at them, look for any kind of signs of use or dust. You know, if something's been in a car for a long time, normally it's, it's going to have a little bit of uh, aging to it. So this, according to eBay it, or uh, to my list, is a $70 pressure sensor for, uh, it says, just says T-MAP pressure sensor. I don't know much about it, but 70 bucks according to the, to the list. That's pretty good. Uh, this is just a little wire kit for your um, for your car radio or something. You know, just a dollar or two. Not much value there. Um, these are replacement bulbs for the car. It's a pack, a ten pack. I'd say probably ten bucks for that for Sylvania. And this is this is another accessory that goes for um, for like your door. It's the replacement kit for all the fasteners you would need. Probably the person that bought this probably bought this and then returned it off. And here's another filter. I've had a bunch of these. I actually have a box of them, EcoGuard. I'm gonna try to sell those off in one big lot. Uh, it's just not worth my time. They're about 10 bucks a piece. Here is a portable compressor. So that's pretty sweet. This is a big, pretty heavy item, probably 20 pounds. Not something you really wanna you want to ship, but it's not impossible to ship it. I would probably do UPS ground on that. And wow, a lot of them sold. 64 have sold in the past year, and the average price is 170 bucks. So that's really good. Um, it's definitely in there. I just want to look real quick and see if it's been used or not. Cause for one, it'd be good for you guys. There's only one more item in this box and I'll wrap this video up. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's still in the bag. There's the Amazon. The person actually left the uh, return label in there. 
not the person, but the company I bought it from. So normally they pull that stuff out. Okay, so yeah, this has definitely been used. Um, it's got some serious corrosion and wear to it. Um, yeah, I, I would be surprised if it works considering the condition. So that's probably gonna be for parts, maybe like 50 bucks plus shipping and someone else can uh, maybe use some parts from it. I do that quite often and items do sell. I normally won't do it unless the item's worth like 50 bucks or more if I'm gonna sell it for parts. Unless it's like a real small item and I have a lot, a lot of pieces. Uh, and the last item here is a Honda hubcap. These hubcaps can be pretty expensive, surprisingly. So let's see what we got. Bam. Mint condition. There's not a scratch or anything on it, so that's good. Let's see, just so you guys know what the hubcaps go for. This is a genuine Honda hubcap, 44733. 44733. It's funny with the um, with the genuine parts, a lot of times there is not a UPC. You only have like a model number. Um, so yeah, it was pretty close. 400 have sold. The average selling price is 44 bucks. So really good item there. Yeah, so that's it. That's gonna wrap this one up, guys. I'll, I'll go ahead and film another one. I have four boxes to go through today. So I'll most likely film all of them. I like to do these in, in different videos. Sometimes I'll do one, sometimes I'll do two. It just depends on how much stuff there is. One of the main reasons is I don't want the video to be too, too long. You know, I try to keep them like 20 minutes or less. I know I do have some that are like 30, 40 minutes, but in most cases, most people can't stick around that long to watch what I'm, what I'm getting. So make sure you subscribe, like the channel so you can uh, watch more videos like this. And like I said earlier, if, if you are uh, someone that might be interested in buying some of this liquidation stuff that you see me unboxing, why don't you shoot me an email for now? If there's enough interest, I will go ahead and put together some boxes. And then maybe in a future video, I'll kind of show an example of what you might get for the price. So I'd have to figure that all out, but it is something in the back of my mind of, um, I have so much inventory now to get rid of that me storing it all the way up to the next flea market season, it may be easier just to, to pass that savings along to someone else who wants to mess with it. So let me know. The email's in the description. It's contactliquidationpros at gmail.com and uh, I'll get back to you. So appreciate you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.